So hello guys, I'm Xiaowen. So basically, uh, I made this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so basically, you can beat it. Yeah. But you all start with this. So you all know that how radio button works, right? So basically, uh, it's two input elements. Then they all have the same name. So when you click on one, then it switches. Then with that, then you could do something like when the input is checked, then you could do something about the check, right? Uh, maybe I should show some code. That is number two. Can you see it? Yeah. So basically, this when the input is checked, then the labels after have the content change. If you want to Google this, just look for checkbox hack, and you'll find examples <laughs> yeah. to look for. Then we move on to the next step, which we come to this mode. This is not updated, but basically, uh, yeah, no, uh, three dot. So this is how the mall is constructed. Uh, this is not needed. Okay. So you have two input radio. Then when you click on this, it's supposed to target for the one with ID C1 which means when you click then this will be checked so we go on to the logics uh, where is it okay so when the mole when uh, input check with a mole then the color should change to blue so yeah ta -da. <laughs> Then the next step would be so we need a box to for the mole to hide, right? And there's no logic here, it's just a box. Ah, it's fourth. So pretty simple thing, this is a box. And this is to cover the mold inside. Yeah, nothing. Special, yeah. Then we come to the fifth stage, like how to make it show and hide. Uh, so it's basically wow. this part. Uh, maybe let me. So the mole just jumping, right? Then with the box, then you get blocked, then you just jump out of the box. And if you put a uh, multiple mole, that as a multiple box with mole inside. Too big. <laughs> Still too big. Then <coughs> yeah, then they all like stay in one line. Uh, yeah. I do love how this is responsive. Huh? I like, love how this is responsive. <laughs> 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 then, then when you hit the mole, ah, because they all share the same ID. Um, I. Two. 
But we're going to make it stop coming out, right? Then we can say that um, when it is checked, then we just say animation. It's wrong spelling. <coughs> animation. <laughs> Play state. Play state. Yeah, you love Play, play, play. Maybe not like this, but this transform. Send it out. <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> but then we want the next mode to come out, right? <coughs> the, So now we have two more. Uh, change ID to uh, five. Oops. But now it's two more coming up together. <coughs> You can see that two more is coming up together, right? We don't want that. We want the second more to not coming up. Then we can do something like this. So, uh, input. How do I do that? Animation, yeah. So we can pause it initially. So now all more won't come out. But then we can say that uh, input says char. Is it? Yeah. So the second one is about now moving. We then can say that uh, check no. This is the final one, but <laughs> I was doing what this is doing. You can actually go uh, shower dot github dot io slash css dash wag dash a dash mo. But uh, there's a big hack on this. It's basically uh, I'm using the after content. But it's like it's doing like input check, then the tilde con uh, the score. Then I set the content to zero, that's to one. Then it's input check, tilde input check, tilde uh, score. Then it's two. So if, if I need forty, then I need to do it forty times. 
Yeah, that's the big hack on that. Yeah, you can find out more in the code if you want. So there's, there's 10 moles. There's 10 on each box. Yeah. But basically, you just do it on one box. Until it won't come out anymore, then you just move on. <laughs> yeah. Else, it's pretty hard to hit. Yeah. I had a hit target just now so that it's easier to click. Yeah. And that's it. Many questions. Seems to be random, uh, the so, a mole need to when you need to start the next mole, the first one need to the previous one need to be hit, right? So when it is not the previous one is not hit, then the next one won't, won't move. So that's how you get the random uh, randomness. So at the start, it all comes out at the same time. Right? No, at the start only four comes out, but then I add a delay to each of the mole. Uh, it's basically animation dash delay, I think. And different IDs are coming out at different speeds, also. Uh, there is a class called dot slow, and then there's another call dot fast, and each box has a speed as well. Some of the boxes, yeah. all of them is slow, but I put dot fast to some of the more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's all preset. Yeah, it's all preset because I can't use JavaScript. <laughs> <laughs> So, can you click on the box at the moment? Like when it's down? Can you click on it? <laughs> now that is a feature request. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, so the, how did you, how do you prevent that? So you can use the oh, index cool. to no, block no, it, yeah. Cool, cool. Like I talk about it here. So this is to block it. Uh, yeah. You did have it wasn't working on touch, I think, earlier today. No, it works on it touch. Work. It's just not responsive. Ah, that's all right. It's yeah. kind of responsive. You just get a certain number of models on it. But basically, to make it work on mobile phones, I need to determine like if it's on three hundred. 20 below, then change the font size, yeah. I, I noticed something for just on the 4.html, right? Yeah. You set the input to be checked by initially. Uh, but Which one? Was oh, uh, you mean... Uh, maybe I saw it. So here? Ah, yeah, yeah. So it's basically the concept that represents here, right? Uh, so when it is not checked, so maybe I put it this way. So the first one is not checked. So this, the hello world won't come out. But when it is checked plus the label, then only we add the hello. Yeah, it's the same concept. Why not use checkboxes? Hmm? Just, just <laughs> out curiosity. Why not use checkboxes? Checkboxes would not, it's not necessary for the back mall. But you could do something like, maybe you don't want to use JavaScript for certain logical stuff. Then you could use checkbox. But you've, you've got one radio group for this entire thing, right? Mm, not really. Is it just one radio? Each or? mole is one name. Yeah, but now they've got separate names. Yeah. Okay. So you could use checkboxes also. Yeah. Right. It's the same thing. Or not. I could, yeah. It's just the ID is different. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? More? Yeah. I've got a few questions. So, uh -huh. so uh, you have a maximum of 14 moles, right? Yeah. Each one has a different ID. Is there any way you can make them spawn like infinitely? <laughs> <laughs> JavaScript. 
<laughs> yeah, there's no JavaScript, so I can't do logical stuff. Too much about JavaScript, uh, logical stuff. But yeah, so that it <coughs> comes out faster and then goes in faster. Mm, that will complicate the uh, it will complicate this a lot but the Bezier curve is more complicated than this isn't it? well there's tools out there that you can go there and then drag yeah, yeah, but I, I mean performance wise performance wise Performance wise, how? Oh, I mean is there a difference between different animation curves? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I mean, why Bezier curve for the animation? And oh, okay. The the basic principles of animation, regardless of the medium that you're on, is never use the built in things if you have any idea of what you're doing, basically. <laughs> you would have seen Zell's thing, he used all the defaults, and I told him he was bad. I changed already. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> basically, um, but the defaults like linear is completely unnatural. Right. Ease in and out are kind of same. Like yeah, but basically, don't. Th there's no performance difference because it's still animating one way or the other. It's got a certain time it needs to work it out. You throw it to the GPU, so you've done everything you can. Um, in theory, if you had some really bizarre maths in your curve, then you might. You're still not going to tax it really, because maths is what computers do. Um, there's nothing that you can practically do that's going to make a difference. Although, if you do, come and talk about it and we'll say, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, practically speaking, um, yeah, you don't stick with the defaults, but it has no difference on performance. It's purely from an aesthetic point of view. And if you look at cheap Hollywood productions where you say, hey, that looks like really bad CG, that's usually because they haven't taken into account stuff other than the defaults for a lot of the animation. But, Putting that extra work in and making things feel more natural takes a lot of effort. So usually when you're working on any kind of an animation project, you'll get the basic thing working quickly, and then you'll spend a ton of time actually making it work properly. So animation is just a time drain, generally, unless you're doing whack-a-mole. <laughs> yeah. Any further questions? To show us the CSS for the final score. This is all on your side, though, right? Yeah. So this is <laughs> controlling the because uh, <coughs> the box. Uh, so that everything is on center. These things. Uh, this is controlling all the sizes. Uh, there's no logical stuff here, <laughs> but yeah, you can play around with these things. This is to enlarge the click target so that it's easier to hit. The more this is the one that is controlling the jumping. Uh, yeah, the fast mode and slow mode. <laughs> yeah. Shy mode. Shy mode. Instant mode. Yeah, the eye. The mouth. It's amazing how much of this, like, no JavaScript whatsoever. And yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like you can actually have interactive elements with no scripts, it's just bizarre. You have to ignore the, the semantics of the markup because there is none, but <laughs> it's whack a mole to dance. Yeah. How are you doing the counter? Yeah, sure. Oh, the count. Yeah, the ugly. That's the thing. This is all. This, is, that's why this, this man is a genius. You see the map? Be a genius now. <laughs> well, you 
if you use SAS, <laughs> maybe you can use a function with a mixin, but... Uh, or you could just use some JavaScript. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just look at the on oh, change and then... Up. Compress as well, right? Right? Um, yeah, you compress well. Actually, this will gzip extremely well, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this is the yeah, same that, pattern. performance-wise, it's possibly faster for all that actually makes a difference. <laughs> Just, just curious, uh, how uh, many hours do you take to do all this? I started on Tuesday, but I would say in total about 24 hours plus. Given things like this, maybe you should have spent some more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. This is quick. I was doing SAS, then Chion helped me change everything to CSS. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah. We'll post the URLs, so if you've missed it, you'll see it on the Meetup group. So you don't need to memorize local host or anything interesting like that. Do you guys need this? It's not commit to the no, repo. No, no. We'll see the end result. <laughs> and just marvel at it. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the counter now. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah.